What's up? Just keep it simple. I hope everyone is doing well. And I just want to say I am so proud of each and every one of you. You've been posting pictures of your simple water, your lunch, even your dinners. It is so appreciated and so encouraging. So keep up the good work with your progress as well. Now, I want to congratulate all the winners who answered the questions yesterday that we posted. So congratulations again. And remember, each and every one of you are winners, okay? Now, today we're going to talk about um, mid-morning and mid-afternoon snacks, okay? I have a treat for you. I'm actually cooking one of my favorite snacks right now is popcorn so you should hear it popping in just a few seconds actually so I'll tell you a little bit more about the preparation on that piece alright now before we actually get into the details of our um, snacks here I just want to reiterate to you guys how important this information is and it is applicable to everyone okay your family your friends and children most importantly, our children, because you know what? The reason why I say that is because obesity in children is at an increasing alarming rate right now across the world. So if we start teaching and showing them at an early age the benefits of living a healthy life and exercising, they too will live a sustainable, healthy lifestyle, just like the journey that you're on right now. Because you know what? You're not doing anything outside of what you have in your kitchen, in your pantry, from your everyday foods that you eat, snacks, and restaurants. This information is valuable. And basically all we are doing is showing you how to prepare your meals a little bit more healthier and making the right choices by being knowledgeable about your food choices. Alright, so my popcorn is cooking there. And... Um, I'm just going to go right ahead and dive into cleansing your fruit. And it sounds like my popcorn is done, so I'm just going to take it off the aisle here. Alright, so let's talk about cleansing your fruit. Now, you can use lemon juice and water to clean your fruit, your vegetables, and you can also use lemon juice to clean your meat as well, just like I showed you with the vinegar in the breakfast food video. Now, basically, in this container here, I have my lemon juice and water, and all I'm going to do is basically I'll take my grapes here, and I'll dip it in the lemon juice and water here, and just kind of give it a final rinse here. Then I'm just going to dry it off here with my paper towel. All right. Now, as far as your whole fruit is concerned, you can do the same. You can kind of submerge it, rinse it around in the water a little bit, and then and or you can rinse it off vigorously for about 15 seconds under your running water here alright and the reason why you want to clean your fruit is because one this residual pesticide on your fruit and think about it probably about a hundred million pairs of hands that may be a large number but I'm saying that to say a, a, a lot of hands touch this food before you actually get it, okay? So you want to wash off any potential germs as well, alright? So your typical obvious choices for fruit can be any fruit. There's an orange, an apple there, got a banana, grapes, even blackberries. So whatever you like, you can't go wrong with a fruit for a snack, alright? Now let's move right on over to another example of a fruit. Uh, I'm sorry, of another snack. Now, the snacks that I'm going over now are actually examples on your meal plan that I provided for you. Alright, so you can go with some roasted peanuts. Alright, you can go with the no salt or the lightly salted roasted peanuts. I love these. You can even go with your mixed nuts here. You're familiar with this, of course. And then, one of my favorites, I like walnuts and raisins. So I'll go out and buy a bag of raisins and walnut and I mix up a big concoction in a bigger container and just transfer it to my little um, snack pack here. Now I know we have a lot of parents out there and your children are always saying, Mommy, I want a snack. Well, guess what? Adults need snacks too. Alright? Because we were once children. So the reason I'm bringing that up is because you see the size of the Ziploc bag here? Very key. 
what this does, it actually gives you a visual of the serving size that you need. So you're not going to overcompensate or overindulge or go over the limit of your serving proportion. So if you just put your serving proportion in a small bag like this, you're well on your way to your healthy lifestyle there, okay? So think about your small bags here and put your uh, snacks in here because if you use a bigger bag, of course, you're going to fill it up and you're going to eat it all, right? All right, so let's keep those proportions um, where they need to be. Now, I kind of want to go over the nutrition label just a little bit more from the breakfast food. I want to do it for the snacks. And I got two examples here, uh, family. Now, we have a bag of barbecue Lay's potato chips and we have a bag of barbecue Quaker rice chips. Same flavor. Now, let's look at the nutrition label on the Lay's potato chips. All right. Now, the serving size for your Lay's potato chips is this entire package. One bag. The calories for this bag is 360 calories, of which 34% is contributed to that. All right? Fat, there's 22 grams of fat in this bag of chips, this whole bag. All right? Now, if we break it down even further, we have 2 grams of saturated fat and 0 0.2 grams of trans fat, which 12% is contributed to your 360 calories. Now remember from the breakfast video, saturated fats and trans fats are what? You're correct. Bad fats. Alright? Now if we go down a little further here, there's no cholesterol. There's 350 milligrams of sodium. And, um, and remember from the video that the three categories you want to focus on are fat, cholesterol, and sodium. Okay? Reading it even further, carbohydrates, we have 36 grams because potatoes are carbohydrates. Um, 2 grams of fiber, 3 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein, and then of course your vitamin A, C, iron, and calcium in this bag. So I'm looking at this, I'm like, huh, let's look at another option. Now when I look at my barbecue rice chips, on the nutrition label, the serving size, 12 rice chips, approximately 12 rice chips is the serving size for this bag of chips here. Calories, 90 calories. Fat, 3 grams versus 22 grams from the Lay's potato chips. Saturated fat, 0 0.2 and no trans fat. So this is looking good to me already. Cholesterol, 0 sodium 220 milligrams versus 350 from the Lay's potato chips. 14 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, sugar, and protein, and of course your vitamin A, C, and calcium. Now, fam, I wanted to use this example because I know some of you like don't have time to uh, fish your snacks or you're running late for work. It happens, you know. So, so you are resorted to either going to a convenience store or going to the vending machine at your office building. I've done it. Okay? But what's going to make the difference now is that because you're knowledgeable about what's in your food, you're going to tunnel vision in that vending machine and you're going to pick the right healthy choice food, right? Or snack. So that's why I want to use this example because you will see this in the vending machine a lot and at the convenience stores. This one, mm, give or take, you may or may not see it in the vending machine. You'll see this in a grocery store or some other stores as well. So this example is basically to, just to get you to see um, that you can choose a healthy snack, okay, as long as you know about it, all right? Now, I want to share with you one of my favorite snacks. My mother loves my popcorn and I cook it a little different, okay? I basically use olive oil and I put olive oil in the pot here, alright? And as you saw that it was cooking as we, as we started the video, so it's done, alright? So there we have it, nice fluffy white popcorn and then I know when you guys go to the movies, what do you often hear from the, uh, the lady behind the counter? Would you like some extra butter on that? 
No. Would you like some extra olive oil on that? Yes. Choose the healthier oil. Okay, so I just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil over my popcorn here. And I like sea salt in the grinder form here. And I'm basically going to turn this one time. One turn to give me some flavor there. And there you have it. Nice, fluffy, white popcorn with olive oil on it. Nice, healthy snack. And then, of course, you can transfer it to your little Ziploc bag here for a snack. Now, fam, basically, I just want to show you some ways that you can be creative with creating new snacks. So if you like almonds or raisins or dates, make your own little concoction at home, okay? You can do that. So I'm just showing you how to be creative and be knowledgeable about identify healthy food choices, okay? Now, always remember, okay, consistent healthy eating plus exercise equals your life. So just keep it simple.